Hello YouTube, it's Das Gregor, and welcome back to Gentoo in Review. This is a March update. This weekend I decided it was about time I did my monthly updates on Gentoo, and so I followed suit to check to see how things looked, and I noticed that there were some issues, a lot of issues in fact, that were due to some news articles that came out just a little bit ago. So I wanted to bring those to your attention. If we do eSelect news list, we'll see all the news articles that are there. Now I want to bring to your attention this one specifically from February 1st, 2015 about the FFmpeg and LibAV conflict managements using LibAV. To look at that, and I've, if you remember my eSelect tutorials, eSelect News Read 18 will show us, oops, helps if I can spell properly. There we go. In here it discusses how they're separating out the use flags for FFmpeg and LibAV. I noticed in my February updates I didn't have a problem but in my March updates I had a lot of conflicts and this is my suggestion to anybody thinking about what they should do if they run into all of these the if you're using libav it states in here you shouldn't have very many problems but a lot of programs that I have built I have built with FFmpeg or they're required to have FFmpeg and I really didn't want to mess around with having to rebuild a lot of stuff to use libav. Uh, it's one of those things I just always used FFmpeg. One of these days when I rebuild Gen 2 someday maybe I'll go to libav but right now I'm glad that they've set this up so I can keep it. It talks about needing to put in a update parameter in your make.conf file and it specifically says in here and I'm not going to read it all to you that they suggest that you don't use the portage package.use file for this but you globally set it up so that you don't end up with problems with blockers such as right here please do not alter the state of live AV flag on a per package basis using package.use but the flag needs to be set globally to have consistent value throughout all packages otherwise blockers will prevent upgrades now a simple easy thing to do to fix that then is to do a sudo command and edit with your favorite editor slash etc fs tab 999 portage I was working on something else with the fs tab earlier uh, portage make dot conf and you will notice I did two things actually I went ahead and did the minus live AV right here and I also since I want to make sure that everything is built using FFmpeg I went ahead and added FFmpeg now those two things all you need to really do and then that should help to alleviate any issues and this is of course if you're wanting to use FFmpeg and not libav. Once you set those two options there in your use flag you can save it of course and then when you do your merge update it should resolve itself. Once I did that all of my conflicts kind of disappeared everything was back to normal everything runs very well. So I wanted to bring that to your attention about the updates and while I'm discussing a few things, I also noted something last month that I wanted to bring up. That if we look at the news again, and so we knew lose list again, there's something that someone had once mentioned why I didn't have certain flags in my make.conf about the architecture. And it was because I never really knew what to use. And I always felt like it was easier just to stick with the default not mess anything up. But I want to bring to your attention also in this 
Number 17 about the CPU flags. This is very interesting and this is something that's new as of the end of January and it could be very useful to some people. So do we select news read 17 and it will talk in here about an easy way to emerge a Portage application called CPU Info to, to CPU Flags and then CPU Info to CPU Flags dash x86 will actually run a command that checks your used flags sets them all up and then you can actually have that so it ports with the with the uh, right arrow twice into your make.conf and will set your proper flags there now so you see here how it says use MMX and all that sort of thing now they're going to change it from this as you see to CPU flags equaling this and with this command down here and if you read through I'm just going to briefly go over it that you'll be able then to set that up very easily and then port it right into your make and if we look at our make.conf real quick again you can see for instance right here this next to last line um, I'm gonna get down here a bit make it so it's a little bit easier for you to see after running that command and having it port everything over here we have CPU flags x86 equals and these are all the flags that it found that my system should use setting them up properly now the big thing is when you do that you have to rebuild your system with these new flags but that's not a too big of a deal so you want to do of course an emerge dash a v u capital n capital d world which will do you know it'll ask you first for the a v for verbose u for update capital n for new uses and capital d to go deep and that will go through and look for any packages that you might have that would use these use flags and go ahead and rebuild them so that they can be working properly now some people might say that they don't really see that big of a difference but I feel that if there's some way that you can tweak it just a little bit more power to you you might be able to save yourself a few cycles with it just a little bit better optimized so just those two couple things that I wanted to bring to your attention that I had noticed and been wanting to do a little video on stuff you know as always I do try to keep a few things up I apologize for not having some material out there for you uh, work is just very busy and you're the only IT guy for the whole state uh, you, you just gotta do what you can and work comes first so whether it's morning evening noon or night whatever you're having I hope you enjoy it thanks for listening thanks for watching hopefully these two things will help you out and fix maybe some conflicts you might run into with the FFmpeg and libav and also being able to set up the CPU flags a little bit better too in your Gen 2 install. Thanks a lot. Until next time. Bye guys.